an anthology of readings of Almighty God's words. Utterances of Christ in the Beginning Chapter 108 Within me all can find rest and all can attain freedom. Those who are outside of me can obtain neither freedom nor happiness because my spirit is not with them. Such people are called the spiritless dead, whereas I call those who are within me the living beings possessed of spirit. They belong to me, and they are bound to return to my throne. Those who render service and those who belong to the devil are the spiritless dead, and they must all be abolished and rendered into nothingness. This is a mystery of my management plan, and is a part of my management plan that mankind cannot fathom. However, at the same time, I have made this public to everyone. Those who do not belong to me are against me. Those who belong to me are the ones who are compatible with me. This is utterly incontrovertible, and it is the principle behind my judgment of Satan. This principle should be known to all so that they can see my righteousness and justness. Everyone who comes from Satan will be judged, burned, and turned to ash. This, too, is my wrath, and from this my disposition is further made evident. From now on, my disposition will be openly announced. It will be gradually revealed to all peoples and all nations, to all religions, to all denominations, and to persons of all walks of life. Nothing will be hidden. All will be revealed. It is because my disposition and the principle behind my actions are the most hidden mysteries for mankind that I must do this, so that the firstborn sons will not violate my administrative decrees, and also in order to use my revealed disposition to judge all peoples and all nations. This is my management plan, and these are the steps of my work. Nobody shall change that lightly. I have already lived out the complete disposition of my divinity within my humanity, so I do not allow anyone to offend my humanity. Everything I live out is the divine disposition. This is the reason I have said previously that I am the God himself who has transcended normal humanity. I will certainly not forgive anyone who offends me, and I will let him perish into eternity. Remember, this is what I have decided. In other words, this is an indispensable part of my administrative decrees. Everybody should see this. The person I am is God, and moreover, God himself. This should be clear by now. I do not say anything carelessly. I utter and point out everything clearly until you have gained a complete understanding. The situation is very tense, not only in my home, but even more so outside of my house. I require that you witness my name, live me out, and witness me in all aspects. Because these are the end times, everything is now ready, and everything retains its original appearance. 
and none of this will ever change. Those that should be cast away shall be cast away, and those that should be kept shall be kept. Do not try to forcefully hold on or push away. Do not attempt to disrupt my management or destroy my plan. From a human perspective, I am always loving and compassionate toward mankind. But from my perspective, my disposition is differentiated according to the stages of my work, because I am the practical God Himself. I am the unique God Himself. I am both immutable and ever-changing. This is something that nobody can fathom. Only when I tell you about it and explain it to you will you have a clear understanding of it and be able to comprehend. To my sons, I am loving, compassionate, righteous, and disciplining, but not judgmental. To people other than my sons, I change at any time, depending upon the shifting of the ages. I can be loving, compassionate, righteous, majestic, judgmental, wrathful, cursing, burning, and finally, destructive of their flesh. Those who are destroyed will perish along with their spirits and souls. However, for those who render service, only their spirits and souls will be retained. And with regard to specifics, about how I put this into practice, I will tell you later so that you can understand. However, they will never have freedom and will never be released because they are beneath my people and are under the control of my people. The reason that I so abhorred the service doers is that they are all descendants of the great red dragon. And those who are not service doers are descendants of the great red dragon too. In other words, all people who are not firstborn sons are descendants of the great red dragon. When I say that those in perdition offer me everlasting praise, I mean that they will render service to me forever. This is set in stone. Those people will always be slaves, cattle, and horses. I can slaughter them at any time, and I can dominate them as I wish, because they are descendants of the great red dragon and do not have my disposition. Also, because they are descendants of the great red dragon, they have its disposition. That is, they possess the disposition of beasts. This is absolutely true and eternally unchanging. This is because it was all predestined by me. Nobody can change it. If you try, I will strike you down. You should look to the mysteries I have revealed to see which step my management plan and my work have reached. See what I do with my hands and see what people my judgments and my wrath fall upon. This is my righteousness. I lay out my work and I manage my plan in accordance with the mysteries I have revealed. No one can change this. It must be done step by step, according to my desire. Mysteries are the path along which my work operates, and they are signs signifying the steps in my management plan. Nobody shall add or subtract anything from my mysteries, because if the mystery is wrong, then the path is wrong. Why am I revealing my mysteries to you? What is the reason? 
who among you can say clearly? In addition, I have said that mysteries are the path. So to what does this path refer? It is the process you go through from the flesh into the body, and this is an important stage. After I reveal my mysteries, people's notions are gradually removed and their thoughts gradually weakened. This is the process of entering the spiritual realm. Thus, I say that my work takes place in steps, and it is not vague. This is the reality, and this is my way of working. Nobody can change this, nor can anyone else achieve it, for I am the unique God himself. My work is completed by me personally. The entire universe world is controlled by me alone and arranged by me alone. Who dares not listen to me? By me alone, I mean God himself, because the person I am is God himself. So do not hold on so tightly to your own notions. Who dares to go against me? They will be severely punished. You have seen the outcome of the great red dragon. That is its end, but it is also an inevitability. The work must be done by me myself so that the great red dragon will be shamed. It cannot ever rise up again, and it will be destroyed for all eternity. Now I am beginning to reveal mysteries. I have said that all the things that people see as unfinished have already been completed in my eyes, and the things that I see as just beginning seem to people to be already complete. Is this paradoxical? It is not. People think in that way because they have their own notions and thoughts. The things I plan are completed through my words. However, it does not seem to me that the things that I have said have been completed. This is because there is a time limit on the things that I do. Thus, I see these things as incomplete, though in people's fleshly eyes, these things have already been completed. Nowadays, most people are suspicious of me because of the mysteries I reveal. Due to the onset of reality, and because my intentions do not match people's notions, they are resistant toward me and deny me. This is Satan ensnaring itself in its own schemes. They want to receive blessings, but they did not expect that God would be out of line with their own notions to such an extent, so they retreat. This is also an effect of my work. All people should praise me, cheer for me, and give me glory. Absolutely everything is in my hands, and absolutely everything is within my judgment. When all peoples flow to my mountain, and when the firstborn sons return victorious, that will be the end point for my management plan. It will be the moment of completion for my 6,000 years of management plan. Everything is arranged by me personally. I have said this already many times. Since you still live within your notions, I must emphasize this repeatedly so that you do not make any mistakes here that would disrupt my plan. People cannot assist me, nor can they take part in my management, because you are currently still of flesh and blood. As such, 
I say that those who are of flesh and blood cannot receive my inheritance. This is also the main reason to have you enter the spiritual realm. In the world, earthquakes are the beginning of disaster. First, I make the world, the earth that is, change, and afterward come plagues and famines. This is my plan, and these are my steps, and I will mobilize everything to serve me in order to complete my management plan. Thus, the entire universe world shall be destroyed, even without my direct intervention. When I first became flesh and was nailed to the cross, the earth shook tremendously, and it will be the same when the end comes. Earthquakes will begin at the very moment I enter the spiritual realm from the flesh. Thus, the firstborn sons will absolutely not suffer from disaster, whereas those who are not firstborn sons will be left to suffer amid the disasters. Therefore, from a human perspective, everyone is willing to be a firstborn son. In people's premonitions, this is not for the enjoyment of blessings, but to escape the suffering of disaster. This is the scheme of the great red dragon. However, I will never let it get away. I will cause it to suffer my severe punishment and then to stand up and render service to me, causing it to forever be tricked by its own plots, forever to accept my judgment and forever to be burned by me. This is the true meaning of having service doers praise me. I will not allow the great red dragon to sneak into my kingdom, nor will I grant it the right to praise me. I will only make the great red dragon render service to me into eternity. I will only let it prostrate itself before me. Those who are destroyed are better off than those who are in perdition. Destruction is only a temporary form of severe punishment, while people who are in perdition will suffer severe punishments eternally. For this reason, I use the word prostrate, because these people sneak into my house and enjoy much of my grace and possess some knowledge of me. I use severe punishments. As for those outside of my house, you could say that the ignorant will not suffer. In people's notions, they think that people who are destroyed are worse off than those who are in perdition. But to the contrary, the latter have to be severely punished forever, and those who are destroyed will return to nothingness for all eternity.